There's something in front of me. Ow, I've got caught in a tree. I'm getting concerned. If we have to run, we can't run. It's not a barn, it's a house. It's a house. Andrew, it's his bedtime. It's so literal. I didn't think it would be anything like that. <gasps> Andrew! See you on the next live stream. <gasps> no freaking way! What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores and tonight is another round in Autica. Alrighty guys, so tonight I'm here with Proving Demons. Um, tonight I'm doing another round in Autica. Um, to be honest with you guys, uh, it's not even being honest, they already know, I wasn't happy to continue the games. Um, you've probably seen my previous video by now, um, if you haven't, check it out, links below. Um, we found some crazy stuff and I spoke to Andrew about it. Uh, I'm still new to round in Autica, right? I wasn't going to continue playing. But then I did a community post and I was like, hey guys, do you just want me to be urbex, do you want me to be paranormal, or do you want me to be rando? And you guys wanted all three. So I was like, okay, let's let's dive into this a little bit more. So I asked some of you personally, um, hey, what do you think? Should I continue the games? And you were saying I should do some positive stuff instead of negative stuff. And basically you guys convinced me. Um, there were so many of you messaging me and commenting and stuff saying you wanted more. So tonight this is for you. All right guys, so as you know, our video is going to be completely different. So once you check this one out, go over to Proving Demons and check out his version. Um, because we do our solo intense then we do our group intentions so i'm kind of nervous for tonight i'm looking forward to it don't get me wrong because it's been a while like i say it's been a month now hasn't it since i lasted around and all yeah it's been way too long about a month we really need to get back on this i stuff. know i know and everyone can, the lights have the just lights gone have out just, whoa i don't That's know if these guys can see behind me okay i have a light in my face so i don't even just see but the lights behind me are going out <laughs> okay that's kind of odd Right, anyway, <laughs> so I haven't done Rad and as I was saying, for about a month, you guys convinced me. Um, and yeah, our intention is completely different, so just check it out. All right, are you ready to do this? Always ready, born, yeah? born ready. Born ready. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pull up the app in the car and let's do this. Yep, let's get started, we've got a long night ahead of us. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so I just pulled up my uh, previous Rand and Autica video. I've been scrolling and looking at all your intentions, and I really like Bonnie's intentions. She's got Stalk the Stalker, Demonic Encounter, Newfound Love, In the Shadows, Consequence, and Endangered. I like the sound of Newfound Love. Well, you're already looking for somebody different. Because I have just found a Newfound Love. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not falling for that. But I'm thinking that would be quite nice. Maybe it's something nice for us. Oh, we could add a third to the mix. Oh, hello. <laughs> apply, apply down below. <laughs> Not just yet. We'll wait for like the five-year mark. If things get a little bit boring and dry, then uh, then let us know in the comments, guys. <laughs> There's hope. There's hope. Do you like the sound of newfound love? Then? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. So I want to generate and just keep saying newfound love, newfound love, newfound love. Okay, Make it your intention. Generating now. Newfound love. 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 You got one, you got one. Hey, there we are. Oh, I don't know what that is. What on earth is Here, that? Come have a look. It looks like a barrel. Well, it's out in some foresty bit. I don't know what that is, but it's approximately a five minute drive from here. But the problem is, I don't know how we're gonna drive. How do you drive that? There's no roads. There's no, that's in, hang on, isn't that in a field or something? Look. Yeah, I saw it in a field. Oh my God. I mean, unless we're gonna wow. go jumping on their property here, which I don't think that's viable. I think we might have to walk. If we get as close as we can. Yeah. And then we'll just have to work it out from there. Mm, that's a long walk. All right, all right, all right, let's do it. Then. It's worth the walk for a newfound love. <laughs> All right, so before we get there, um, just to fill, fill you guys in. Um, so Andrew, do you wanna explain your story about your car? Oh, uh, it's a long and horrible story, but mm -hmm. basically, just woke up one morning and I seen that somebody had vandalized my car, which it's not the first time this has happened since I started doing Randonautica, but a lot of pieces are starting to fit together considering I've also had my windows being like pried open, mm. a dead pigeon left on my doorstep. Uh, th this has been probably the worst attack so far though. Yeah. I yeah, it's getting significantly worse. Yeah, I got police involved. I don't I don't know who did it. I don't know if it's related to Randonautica. It's just an odd coincidence. Yeah. If it, if it isn't related, it isn't. Well, it was two... What was it? Two slash tires and the windscreen. Two slash tires and my back windshield, yeah. Yeah, pretty rough. Um, yeah, as as, a, as we were saying, obviously a few people have said, oh, you know, is this linked to Randonautica? Um, we honestly don't know. Um, it's just one of these things that we're still trying to work out and get to the bottom of. Um, but yeah, so that's that's been our kind of 
hectic few weeks so things are hopefully going to get better from this point forward or we're just about to walk ourselves into a newfound love and a new danger i have no idea so i think we're pretty close aren't we so maps is saying about a minute away was it yeah a minute away okay so we're not not too far off. we are down country country lanes um we're no strangers to country lanes by now but um i'll just catch up with you guys when we're near near the pin all right guys so we have just arrived at this um this pin location parking space i don't know um it is quite a long walk so we managed to park not too far from it we've still got at least another five minutes walk what i'm going to do instead of walking you for five minutes solidly just with a camera in my hand um, i'm going to focus on trying to get there first with the floodlights i'm going to try and document as much as i can the, the, the good bits the good bits and um yeah i'm just going to catch up with you once we're there we have just come to an alleyway behind a ton of houses so um they're functional so everyone's obviously probably gonna be asleep by now bloody hell this is proper getting like pretty spooky for what it's worth feeling all right at the moment I'm just more concerned as what's uh, what's up ahead. Right, I've made it to a kissing gate. Oh, I don't like that. We're at a kissing gate, and we're looking for a uh, a, a newfound love. love. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone want to jump out of the bush and kiss me? Not just yet. Oh, just when you think you're getting lucky, eh? <laughs> Guys, this is such a freaking trek. Look at it. This grass is like, up to my hips, and we're still not even halfway. Yeah, turn it back on. Definitely a light on. Yeah, there is. I don't know if my camera can pick that up, but there is definitely a light ahead of, ahead of us. Is that a torch or a flashlight or anything? I don't know. I can't work it out from here. Too far away. Yeah. Ooh, the vibe here is cringe. Okay, guys, so we've been walking for a lot longer than five minutes now. It's literally turning out to be the biggest trek. We found a... Whoa. Scared Damn. Of, scared of bird. <sighs> Holy shit, God, my heart's racing. We've got another kissing gate. Oh, how much bloody further? Oh. All right, so what's what we got over there? Not a bloody place. All right. Yeah, so it said five minutes on the pin in walking distance, but like I say, we've been walking a lot longer than that and we are still nowhere near it. So, oh, Jesus Christ, we're really going into the depth of, uh, of the woods. So this means if something does come at us, we are essentially screwed because we've got to run and uh oh <laughs> straight into the swamp oh god there we are that's a good sign <laughs> i'll try and avoid it this time there we are be sensible um but yeah as i say uh if we have to run i think this is going to be pretty problematic all right we've now been walking for 10 minutes we've still hit nothing we are literally in the middle of the woods we're getting close, we're getting close. yeah good okay um, yeah, as I say, we are literally in the wilderness. Um, there was civilization about, I don't know, maybe like five, ten minutes ago. And now we're just, yeah, in the depth of God knows what. Look, there's just forestry all around me. Um, I'm getting a little, a little bit more nervous. Nothing too major at the moment. I'm quite comfortable in the woods. Um, it's just I'm getting closer and closer. And as I said, if something happens, and we need to get out of here quickly. I'm not sure how doable that's going to be. So I think it's a case of me and him sticking together and just hoping for the best. All right, so we have just got to a footpath that is fully overgrown and it's saying to go in here. And I really don't want to cut through this. Oh, shit. This is, ow, ow, it's really spiky. It's really, really, really spiky. Oh, God. Ow. Ow, I've got caught in a tree. Ow, Jesus. How does it get better or worse? I th it's clearing up. I can't work out. There's something in front of me. What is that? There's a barn. There's a barn in front of me. What? Andrew, there's a barn. All right, well, I'm trying to come. Oh, God. I'm getting concerned. If we have to run, we can't run. We yeah. need... Well, I don't see any other way. There... Look. These nettles are up to my face level. Oh, come on. This is mental. If you touch that, that's going to burn your there is flesh. A... Well, I'm just... <gasps> oh, okay, we're going to have to crawl through this. This is so painful. I just got it on my cheek. It just burnt. it just got me on the cheek. I am, I am. Oh, this. I don't like this. This is a freaking barn in the middle of the woods. Literally the middle of the woods. Andrew, what if we can't, what if we need to get out? 
like fast. This is awful. I don't ever want to do this again. Oh my god. Okay, right. I'm gonna out. I'm gonna have to stop this and get. Shit. I'm gonna have to get something out to try and get cut through this. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. You take the lead. Stamp all that down, please. <laughs> oh god, it's everywhere. Oh, get off of me. Okay. All right. You sure we're gonna just go in there? Come on. There's so many bugs. Oh my god. It's not a barn, it's a house. It's a house. Oh wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. So I think it's probably like a kitchen, isn't it? Like where the arc was. Looks like it could have been an old kitchen. Boiler. I don't know how safe this is though, that all of this is falling out. Clearly, it's been here for a very, very, very long time. It's almost as strong as the kind of paper. Yep, floor's not stable. Do we have to check every room? That also? just goes back outside, apparently. Oh my goodness. What's in that room? <laughs> in here? Oh. Yeah. No, there's something pink in there. Yo, what the hell is this? Oh my god, it's his bedtime. Andrew, it's his bedtime. Look. Yeah, 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 I see that. This bedtime with a froze. This is definitely not some squatter stuff. What? What's it's that? a freaking heart candle. Oh god. No, you get do you get what this is trying to say? Do you get it? Is it bedtime with a sleeping bag? And it's all like romantic. Yeah, yeah. Do you think, wait, what was your intention again? Uh, new, new, newfound love. Newfound, oh God. No. Uh, I am, I am. Last, last three. <gasps> Andrew! The floor's falling Shit. through. Shit. The floor just fell through. I almost just fell through the floor. Oh my God. Uh, you know, right, you know, you know I said about you two about random autica. Yeah. I, I didn't want to play all this stuff. This is kind of the reason why. Like I'm probably more calm because I'm I'm just getting used to the pattern of it's everything's kind of fucked up with this. But newfound love and a freaking sleeping bag saying bedtime. Is there anything inside it? That's what I wanted to see. No. What's that? A bit of dirt. A bit of dirt. I think That's it's so literal. I didn't think it'd be anything like that. I, I it, thought it'd be calm. I think he wants you to stay the night here. What? I'm not staying here with you, hell no. What do you mean he? I'm assuming it's a he, I don't actually know to be fair. Let me check the windows, we can check the windows, we can check the windows. No, watch your footing. I literally almost fell through the floor a second ago. Yeah, the floor's bowing in. Well then we're screwed, aren't we? No, 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 saying, you know we came in. Yeah. And we had to kick down all that stuff. Yeah. What, saying how, how number one, how they get inside? But number two, they did, they must have come this way. Well, they, they must could have come, come through a different way, yeah. Because the way we came in, it was like up to here, wasn't it? With like, yeah. with um. Right, this makes me really uneasy. I'm like, I'm like uneasy, but I'm also, I know it sounds really stupid, I'm almost, I'm almost not surprised anymore. After the heart and everything like that, I think it's going to take a, quite a lot. Now to surprise me, because like you said, this game just gets more sadistic. Yeah, it really does. Uh, should we leave it here? I or? feel like we should probably be getting out of here. Should we leave on this here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Be careful your footing. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. No. Why? So you walk right next to it. Huh? You walked, you tell me I to be careful, and I you. I walked over it. Because you know this. There isn't fine. plenty of clear path here. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's just go. Oh. We gotta go back through all this oh, again. Oh Here, take your, take, all take, take your camera. Take your camera. Huh? Take your camera. Oh, it's really unstable. Hang on. Right. At least we've made a footpath. I'm just more concerned if there's anyone out here that's taking an alternative route and is watching us right now. Right, Andrew. Let's just get going because we've got about a ten-minute walk. Oh, oh, damn! It's so hot. It's a wind. Well, it's not winter's night. It's coming to the end of obviously the end of summer by now, um, as they say on the news. <laughs> And it doesn't feel like it. I'm sweating in these woods. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god. All right. 
We're just surrounded by cornfields or crop fields. I have no idea. Wheat, barley. What is this, guys? I think it's just normal standard hay and straw, isn't it? Bloody hell. Now That's the great awful. descent. That was pretty rough, wasn't it? Are you okay? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, all right. Let's get back to the car. All right, guys. So we've just got back to the car and Jesus, that was such a long walk. I don't know if you can tell, um, but we are kind of sweating slightly. <laughs> that was about what? 20 minute walk? It was a very long walk. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Um, but as I say, um, I'm at a point now with Rand and Autica where I'm just, I'm not surprised, I don't think, uh, anymore. You know, I've seen some crazy stuff. Like I say, I've seen the heart. Um, we previously did the, that that really weird building, was it with the body, with the body bag? Yeah. Yeah, um, so nothing really surprised me anymore. Um, as I say, the night is only just about to get crazier. Um, so we are going to be going on to my, well, our, our group intention, not just mine. With Rand and Autica, I'm at a point now where I don't think much is going to surprise me. Um, as I say, I took a, my month's break to kind of, kind of get my head around it. Um, and I was speaking to Andrew on the walk back to the car, and that to me suggests that I, I personally think by reading your comments from the last video and I agree with you guys I think that's a way of somebody saying like they're in love with me or something or it's like a jealous ex or this is something very much related to I feel like it's a male um doing this towards me like well obviously we were chatting about wasn't we saying it, that this is a getting a little bit weird but I'm not surprised anymore like I say every intention I've had has been very much um suggestive to say the least so i i don't know what obviously the next intention is going to bring and what's going to happen but um just as i say i'm going to be fully prepared for it all right so on that note guys um i think we're just literally going to head to the the app and go to the next the next intention all right i really don't want to do this but let's get a group intent done okay i see you picked somebody from your audience yes uh, claudia verwalt mm -hmm. all right and claudia wanted to do Claudia writes, really creepy. I would call the police or try to disguise the stalker by using the intentions to reveal identity, catch stalker, or get to know the name of the enemy. Which one do you want to use? I personally like reveal identity. All right, let's try reveal identity yeah. then. Okay. All right, not looking forward to this. Reveal identity, 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 reveal identity. I got one anyway. Get tongue tied. All right, um, it's a two minute drive actually. Just hit start on that. Two minutes. Yeah. Look, it with how bad it's been tonight for both of us. Yeah. I don't. Just screw it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. If this goes bad, though, I, I need to really consider my actions in life at this point. Mm. That's why I question around the Nautica. That's why I said to you, I don't know if I should continue playing because of stuff like this, but we'll just see. All right. Let's just do it. All right. According All right. to the map, we are literally. Okay. Yeah. What's that glowing in the road? Where? Oh, over there! There's something glowing on the road. Drive up to it. What on earth is that? I don't know. A candle. No, 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 no. What is it? It looks like a, an emoji. An emoji? An emoji. Now let's jump out. Let me put my phone down there. Oh. Mm. A light? No, I've got one on my camera. That's the best I've got. Yes. Oh my god, it's an emoji! It's not on a piece of paper. No, there's writing on it. It's a devil. Oh wow! Look. How cool is it? Hmm? See you on the next live stream. <gasps> no it? freaking way! I think this is the person that's been threatening to do more damage. See you on the next live stream. See you on the next live stream. And it has a devil. With a devil emoji. Oh, that's messed up. That's really freaky. Like, uh, granted, this is kind of cute until I saw the note and then I was all of a sudden, hang on a minute, that's not right. What does that mean? Next live stream, you go live like every week, so do I. Yeah. Is there anyone around but us I right now? the person that keeps coming in who's harassing us live Yeah. Streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. So maybe, maybe this is more a threat towards you then. I don't know. Because it's got a devil, right? So that's what I'm thinking. 
Well, no, think about it. It's a devil emoji. Like, it's mischievous, right? Yeah, like cheeky. So, thinking about it that sense. We've been having weirdos come into the live streams chatting a lot of bollocks, you know? Yeah. To me, this just says, hey, I'm going to be in your live streams. Yeah. Like devilish behavior, cheeky. Yeah. But I'm That's just... mad. I'm done for the night. Yeah, I'm... I'm literally just done for the night. Yeah. How are you keeping it? Well, that... Uh, that is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. This is... Just take it. I think I'm going to leave the note there. I don't fancy taking that back with me. Um, there. Right, let's let's head out of here. It's been a very, very long night. We're both absolutely exhausted. All right, guys, so you would have just seen our final group intention um, with the emoji light and, and the letter. Um, the the light was, was kind of cute, um, and I saw it and I thought, hey, this is, you know, kind of innocent. And then all of a sudden we see the letter underneath and see on the next live stream. Um, slightly concerning. Uh, I, don't, I haven't actually filled you guys in my audience about this, but um, for the last couple of, it's a couple of weeks now, is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Andrew and other YouTubers have been having trolls coming in, uh, really heavily harassing them. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to leave it at that. So seeing that note is slightly concerning because Andrew and I both go live once a week. Um, so that says that now, you know, like you said, the cheeky kind of devil emoji mm -hmm. that devilish behavior and they're kind of and they're watching see you on the next live stream so it's slightly odd behavior i'm not gonna lie um i never keep my rando finds but i have decided to keep the little light it's it's kind of adorable um and yeah I, i'm gonna leave the note out there i don't fancy taking that back with me but um as i say i'm gonna call that a night we are both absolutely exhausted we have been doing we've been out for hours haven't we and just driving obviously for obviously all this round Nautica. Um, so yeah, that was Round Nautica. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. All links will be down below, so please go and check out Andrew. Um, as I say, everything is down there for you. And turn on the notification bell. Stay tuned and I'll catch you shortly. Bye!